Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you for uh, subscribing and hopefully the content that I present to you on a regular basis is of value to you. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button um, so that you can get access to the latest and greatest around what's happening in the world of uh, collaboration per se. Um, so with that, we get on to the video. Uh, today is going to be primarily about um, how you can actually use your Cisco video devices to get into Microsoft Teams meetings. Now, this is uh, very, very crucial and important uh, as a matter which is there in the uh, in the wider market which is going on right now because many customers would have actually made the decision of going with Microsoft Teams meetings, uh, but they were also happy with the quality uh, that the Cisco video endpoints provide uh, uh, to their end users. Now, how do you merge and bridge both of these worlds? Well, uh, today's uh, video is going to be primarily that where I'll actually show you how your regular Cisco endpoints that you have in your environment, or if in case you're interested in buying, can seamlessly get into Microsoft Teams meetings and have best of features available in the Microsoft Teams meetings right and without without any further ado let's uh, then get into the video all right so this is the very familiar microsoft teams uh, app on the laptop i go into the calendar to schedule a meeting so i click on the new meeting icon once i click on that obviously i'll have to fill in few details like attendees and uh, title so we can start off with the title uh, which can say, let's say Cisco VC joining MS Teams meetings, right? So we're calling that. Now here we are going to be adding few participants. One of them can be a normal Microsoft Teams app uh, on one of our laptops. And then the other one, of course, um, we can look at including. So here I click on the laptop and then the other one, of course, is the video device. I look at the timing in my laptop it's close to 520 uh, now so I'll probably look at scheduling something nearby and uh, yeah everything else looks okay I go ahead and uh, click on send now once I click send there are a bunch of interesting things that happen right so you see this invite over here that has come in on the calendar once I double click on that you should be able to see a lot of interesting things that are coming in. So something very familiar, Microsoft Teams meetings and the click here to join the meeting option that comes up. So if you click on this, of course, the app opens up and you'll be able to get into your meeting with that. Right. Uh, I'm just going to quickly dismiss this. Yeah. All right. So if you click this, of course, the app opens up. Likewise, uh, the lower end, which is the interesting one, which is join using a video conferencing device. Now the first one and the second one, all of, both of them are details of how you can actually join via your video endpoints, right? So if I click on this particular link, it'll actually give you further more instructions on how to join via a video endpoint, specifically a WebEx room series or Cisco WebEx endpoints. If you want to join your meeting directly, you can actually click on these uh, this URI from the room series device or you can actually you join in using a conference id and then hit the conference details right and as it says it is powered by cisco integration for microsoft teams now let's have a look at what's happening on the video device so if you see on the video device i just see that join button i can go ahead and click on that once i click on that it's as simple as that and you will be able to get into the room meeting it's the same invite so you'll be able to see that and the highlight is this is the same experience which you will actually get to see in all the other big rooms, small rooms, wherever the VC endpoints are there from Cisco, you should be able to see that experience seamlessly. So all the user has to do is come inside the room, click on the join button and you're getting into the meeting seamlessly. Likewise, as soon as I enter on the Microsoft app, you should be able to see this join button right on your laptops for other users. Click on the join option and you should be able to get into the meeting room seamlessly all right so all i have to do now is i have to just click on the join now option and once i hit the option i'll be in the same meeting wherein the cisco device is already in there next if i have to share my screen all that i have to do is click on the share option i click on one of the apps in this case a 730 headset document that I generally use in my videos. I click on that and as soon as I select the document, 
I should be able to see that seamlessly coming in on the the desk pro or the Visisco VC device as well, right? Notice the layout gets changed automatically. So you should be seeing the view from the Microsoft Teams app on the top and the document being shared at the bottom. All right. Hopefully you liked what you saw and hopefully you got an idea of how we can achieve, um, you know, this whole interoperability between Cisco video endpoints as well as Microsoft Teams meetings. If you have any questions, if you have any uh, concerns, please uh, do write in the comment section, do like the video uh, so that I can actually present more and more on this content. If there is anything specific that you have that you want me to make a video on, I will go ahead and do that as well. Do write that in the comment section. And uh, with that, um, yeah, I would like to thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.